Alrighty, old members and friends. So, I'm having to do this on my own here. <laughs> I had to fire Patrick. He was, uh, being tardy. I don't think he quite fully understands the ramifications of his buddy's behavior. Right? And if he, you know, couldn't take the time to put in more than a two-hour effort when there's only a limited amount of time. Yeah. Mr. Lakes. Mr. Lakes, he likes to be pet. He doesn't tell you, but in a lot of ways he does, though. And then he, I mean, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's turn you into the camera. He's not going that far. Right, Mr. Lakes? He likes it, that's why. Look, that's me his friend. That's me his friend. Look, see? He likes it. My sis, you want to bring your friend? Okay, he wants his friend. He <laughs> wants his friend. Can we all eat a hot dog? I eat a hot dog. Okay. Not running too far. Not running too far. All right, yo. My battery died, so I had to recharge it. The camera. So we're back to putting some dirt into these potatoes. And I don't even think it's the thing. It's been a week, a week and a bit, and already they're growing like mad. <laughs> Rain, right? I was out here yesterday, actually, somewhat in the rain. I don't know if you can see that, but starting to mound them up a little bit, right? Potatoes sure take a lot of dirt, though. Potatoes are actually a lot of hard work. I got a couple of beans growing in there, but I'm covering them up. <laughs> anyway. Potatoes are a laborious job. <laughs> like, I've done like three buckets like this already. <laughs> I'm just mixing it with plain old dirt as I'm clearing out the greenhouse to do some, you know, build, some, build a wall over there, right? Because it all came crashing down on one side. Anyway, and you can see I put a little bit of sand in there. Mixing it up with some sand. Maybe if I can go in the shade. There, you can see the sand in the dirt. All right. Sand from the front. So I think I'm going to do, for today, Oh, this one over here needs it. I was in here in the rain yesterday doing this one. So I got enough sand for one more bucket. So I'll come in here and start putting around these ones at least one bucket, and then I'll move on to something else. <laughs> okay, members and friends, this is day two. There's my shed. I haven't done anything with it yet. <laughs> I have two bags of cement that I am going to take and cement six posts in here to the equivalent of a piece of plywood. And that will be the base of my chicken coop. This is where the raccoons are a problem and the morning glory. But once we get a hen house in here, it's going to be a whole different ball game. So I have to dig six holes, get six four by four posts at five feet length cuts because I'm putting two feet into the, well, three feet into the ground. Oh, oh. I think it is, or two feet. I only want two feet off the ground and two feet into the ground. So four, four, four feet, right, times six. So I need to buy a bit more cement, another four more bags, and a piece of plywood because I don't want old rotten plywood. And the four, the, the posts, right? 
But what we're going to focus on today is what we've been focusing on, <laughs> is these potatoes. Potatoes are like morning glory. They grow like four inches in the night. And they're a high-maintenance plant because I guess if you want to get any kind of amount of potato, the best thing is to put them in a mound. So I'm trying to mound them up, and they take a lot of dirt. I was four hours yesterday shoveling in dirt. Dirt into this pile, into here, you can see, right? And I was mixing some of it up with some sand, and I was taking it from there because I have to level this part out, right? So we're making a hole, and then we're going to move all this into there, and then I'm going to fix the wall so we can start planning to put in some windows soon. And I'm taking that miscellaneous dirt, and I'm filling up the bed, the potato beds. And this one still needs a bit more too, but I'm taking Zoe to the pound. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some hay. And I'm going to mix up the hay with the dirt again, especially for the one in the front, which is at this point being neglected. The peas are growing. I did string up some things. So this I have to do a couple more because they're actually getting really high. Look how high that is. That's like pushing into three feet, going into four. My plants are always on steroids. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so beautiful. Only Lady, Burl, Lady Bird Pearl, she coming in here and she's digging up everything. She waits until I'm not looking. So I have to put a little fence up around this. Doesn't have to be much. Anything will do. Like this one over there, I have a very fine net. It keeps the chickens out, but other than that, I don't know. I can't imagine a few more running around thinking they can do that. But here's that beautiful plant. It's it's a sage. It smells really, really, really good. Really, really good. Hey. So, I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but right now I'm trying to pick my priorities. And I'm telling my dad, I think the potato, I paid $12 to plant these potatoes. I planted them in whole. I didn't even bother to cut them. You know, so for 12 bucks, we're going to see how many potatoes we're going to get out of it by the end of the year, considering how much work it takes to, to do these things. <laughs> And it kind of puts a whole new meaning to a farmer, man. When you got to get up in here and shovel over a thousand pounds, two thousand pounds of dirt in a day just to cover up the mounds of potato. <laughs> it's, I tell my dad, it's like walking through coals. You know, you just have to get through it, right? And, you know, find a way to get through it as fast as you can. And once you're through it, you're through it. So hopefully these potatoes will produce something for me. Because that's what I'm doing today, members and friends. The shed's just going to have to wait. But I'm going to start piling up a few more mounds in here. Shovel, shovel dirt for about two hours. And then I'm going to come in here and continue working. Oh, my shed. Yeah, stay away from there. That's not good in there. Then it has to disinfect that. Oh, my shed. Mm-hmm. I like a poo. Yeah. Let me clean this up. Yeah. Build a hen house. Hmm? Build a hen house. Ow, right? Ow, Pearly. Uh, ow, Ladybird Pearl. Ow, ow, ow. Alrighty, yo. So I've been digging for like an hour already. Look how pretty that plant is. It's beautiful. This is the hole I made. see that. Now fix this. I still have another hour's worth of dirt moving <coughs> just for those potatoes. Potatoes sure take a lot of dirt, but as you can see, they're starting to fill up in there. I hope you can see it. There's those crazy birds. Let's go catch them. Okay, members in France, 
There's a lot of dirt in here. <laughs> As you can see, some areas, I got beans growing, right? So, I don't know. I covered up a couple in there. We'll see if they'll pop their heads through. But, I didn't put back there and way in the side. Just more in the middle, right? But that's enough for now. This thing over here, you know, my son, my youngest son, initially, he helped me to make the frame. I'd have to go back into the old videos for the initial frame, and he did a really good job. <coughs> Sometimes he doesn't understand why I ask him to do things like bury the wood into the ground. As you can see, he did a very good job. This one, though, kind of caved in over the, over the course of the last several years, right? But this side, in there, managed to... I bet, yeah, slow down. The camera doesn't respond well to it. But as you can see, I got it taken over with the boards. But this, this side, he initially did. I'm just doing some minor repairs. I will pull it forward, make the wall so we can get the window up and uh, I'm gonna put I got some styrofoam so I'm gonna put some styrofoam down in there for some insulation be back all righty yo it's getting getting it's getting <laughs> towards the evening here needless to say I'm tired right <sighs> so there we go the original frame Right in my finger. There it is. Right there. My son. I don't have to make this frame. <laughs> well, still holding up. And it was the foundation for the greenhouse. So, I did some repairs. As you can see, I'm working on it. It came in on this side here. <laughs> Just touched up, touched up on morning glory. Kind of dug it out. It was at one point the dirt was this high. <laughs> That's why those boards look like that. Because they were under the under the ground for I don't know a year anyway, maybe two. Those chickens, that female one, I don't know. Not so much Mr. Lace. It's the female. She likes to dig on everything. She, so I'm going to have to, that's my raspberry bush, it's already blooming. So I'm going to have to kind of fence it off a little bit, but this is just for temporary. See what happens. I'm working on it, people. Let's go check the potatoes. Because my day is almost done here. There's the birds. Those ones are okay. And then I worked on these ones today. That was the big chore for the day. <laughs> kind of looks funny. Really. Yeah, okay then. Do you see what's on my porch? It lives in my yard. Oh, my hand's cramping up. Hold on. This is crazy. Raccoons all the time. All the time. This is a baby. It's living somewhere in my yard. <laughs> 